Kelly from Alpine Brew Deck in Helen, Georgia, and you're watching Two for the Road. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Tammy. Thanks for tuning in for our stop number three of six for our fall trip to Georgia. It was a nice country scenic drive on the way to Bolding Mill Campground. Bolding Mill Campground is a COE campground. This is the first time we ever camped at a COE or Corps of Engineering. So this is our site, site number 54. As you can see, it's a very nice back-end site. Extremely large living space. You have a standalone charcoal grill, a lantern stand, nice little fire pit sunken in the ground, picnic table. As you can see, we dressed it up for the holiday. And you see we got our chairs facing this way because of really cool little view we're camping here with some friends Kevin and Rhonda Tammy and Steve we'll be joining them later tonight for some dinner I think they're making chili Tammy's in there making cornbread muffins So we've been invited for some chili for dinner at Kevin and Rhonda's and their friend uh, Tammy and Steve. So here we are. I'm going to show you around their two campsites and dig into some chili. That was some of the best chili I ever had. Yeah, and your muffins were really good too. Good morning everyone. It's 45 degrees and funny that it doesn't feel like 45 degrees. There is absolutely no wind out here this morning. It feels good. Yes, it's still jacket weather. And I got my breakfast started to get our day going. Here is what we're cooking. Corned beef hash, hash browns, bacon, and some eggs. And then we'll be heading into the town of Helen for some fall time festival activities. We're gonna take you along. Joe and I have made this a tradition to come to Helen, Georgia over the last five years. Yep, this great little town has so much to offer. It has great little restaurants along the river, great places to have a cocktail. You could even ride a roller coaster ride. There's fun shops. And don't forget, they also have a winery for wine tasting, plenty of antique stores, gold mining. They even have plenty of fun family activities like tubing down the river during the summer. Yeah, you're right. And also, we've always wanted for the past few years is take a horse and buggy tour around town. And on this visit to Helen, we finally had our opportunity to take that tour.
here's the information if you want to take a carriage ride for yourself. Also, we'll, we'll put the information down below in the description. River that everyone goes tubing in during the summer. We normally go to the Troll Tavern restaurant for a bite to eat. However, they're not a dog friendly restaurant, so we had to look for a different restaurant for a bite to eat as we had brought Cooper into town with us. So here's a really great tip if you ever find yourself in a situation, just simply check out bringfido.com and it'll give you all the locations that allow dogs across the greater U.S. After checking the app, we found Alpine Brew Deck just a short distance away. And they even post a sign, Dogs Welcome. So what we got here? I don't even remember. I got rock, gold rock cider. And I got the Tonum poems at midnight. Tantrum. Oh, Tantrum yeah. poems at midnight. Never and tried it. And it's supposed to be it's a, a sour. sour beer, so I'm going to give that a crack and see what happens. It's sour. It almost has a flavor of vinegar in it. <laughs> but it's pretty good, I think. I'll be able to choke this whole thing down. Sorry, Tammy, try yours. Much better? Much better, yeah. Let's try it. Yeah. I'm gonna give that a try now. Probably make my beer taste like crab after this. Mm, that is very sweet. So, yeah, now we're gonna just wait for our food. You know, that food was pretty darn good. Yeah, and the craft beers were awesome. You know, I think we found a new place that we could call home for a traditional stop every year we come here. We should make this a tradition. I had a really good time here. After returning from Helen, we had a little bit of daylight hours left, and we decided to break out the electric bikes for a ride around the campground. Joe surprised us by making handcrafted milkshakes. Yeah. Hi Rhonda, how's your drink? Oh, it's very good. What did you have? Uh, peanut butter, Kahlua, uh, whipped cream, chocolate. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. What do you have, Tammy? Chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what are you making, Joe? Chocolate. 
strawberry for Steve. What did you get, Steve? Is it good? Delicious. That's good. I'm glad to hear. We'll have to get Kevin once he gets his in his hand. I have nothing right now. No, I know. Poor Kevin. <laughs> okay, Kevin. What did you get? Coffee. <laughs> Very good. good. The next morning I had to make breakfast for everyone for Pumpkin Pancake Madness. Alright, it's time to do a quick tour of the Bolding Mill Campground so you'll know what to expect when you come here. Here's some really great views overhead and around the campground. Bolding Mill Campground is located on Lake Sydney Lanier of Gainesville, Georgia. The campground has 97 sites to choose from with 3050 amp electricity and water hookup. A word of caution, if you're going to be doing activities outside the park, you must return by 10.30 p.m. as the gates will be locked at 10.30 and will not be open until 7 a.m. the next day. As you can see by the overhead view, the campsites are spread out and they have plenty of room for activities. Look at that beautiful lake for fishing, boating, and swimming. And here's a quick view of one of six loops located on the lakeside of the campground. Hey there. And here's some of the lakefront campsites. So here we have site number 78 and it is a split level and I wanted to make sure I showed you this one. So up here you have a paved in driveway with a paved parking pad. And of course you have 30, 50 amp electricity, water, just like you have at all the sites. But check this out, you got this really cool concrete sidewalk that leads down to your living area. And if this was available when we checked in, or when we booked rather, this would have been it for us. <laughs> and then your living area down here at the lower level, you got your standalone trouble grill, your lantern hanger, of course your picnic table, and in this corner, your fire pit. And then you got like this really cool drop off to the lake. You see the water levels down a little bit because lakes are generally drained a bit for the winter season. But this lake also allows fishing and boating. You can bring your own boat. And you can see somebody made some kind of cool little rock formation down there. Very cool campsite. Look at that. I like this one. I like this one too. We should mark this one. D7, yeah. also a lakefront. Very nice. Get all these long driveways. And this one has really nice shade and trees around you. Very nice. 
And here's a view of the boat ramp and the parking lot. And in the day use area, two large pavilions with four horseshoe pits. And one more thing to show you about this park. It has a beach, but instead of sand, you get concrete. A half a quart for basketball. A volleyball net. And a swing set at the playground. All right, that concludes the tour of Boulding Mill Campground. You should subscribe to our channel as we may be guilty of adding to your bucket list. Thanks for watching. Two for the road.